Hi everyone, this is Wendy from Wendy Tomlinson Coaching and this is your weekly Law of Attraction tip. Actually today it's more of a discussion rather than a tip. So a question that I get asked an awful lot is why do bad things happen when we haven't asked for them? Okay, so the first thing that I want to say is I really do not have all of the answers and I see things that happen and I have no explanation for it at all you know um, when um, young children are taken ill and things like that I, I don't really have an explanation for why those things happen but what I want to tell you is that we often attract things into our life by default and what I mean by this is we're not focusing on what we want so when you look at emotions like fear you when you are fearful of something and you focus on what you're afraid of you send out a vibration that is a match for attracting that into your life okay so fear is one of those really negative emotions that we really need to be aware of and every time that we allow ourselves to focus on what we're afraid of we start to draw that into our life now i do want to point out that these emotions are the natural most emotions that you know like negative emotions they are natural so it would be very difficult to eliminate them from our life you know there are things that I'm afraid of and as soon you know I hear a noise in the night and you know I, I go into overdrive my imagine imagination goes into overdrive but then I have to sort of go whoa hey rein this in you know and start focusing on what you want you know i am you know safe I, I i live in a lovely house i'm safe and protected and all that sort of thing you know i've, I've got really good locks on my doors I, you know i feel safe i feel secure and i just calm myself down and talk myself through the fear i also use eft a lot if i am experiencing fear or any negative emotion so when you are fearful of something you are focusing on it and giving it your attention and the law of attraction gives us what we focus our attention on the most the other real biggie is worry when we worry about things then we draw that in the thing that we don't want we draw that into our life so if we um if we're worrying about our children for example then we're actually attracting the things that we don't want into our life and our children's lives so worrying is a really destructive emotion again perfectly natural and i do it the key is to spot it as quickly as possible and shift your focus so that you're focusing on what you want instead because whenever you're worrying you you you're putting your attention you're, you're so oh, I don't you know I'm worried about this I don't want this to happen what if this happens well just make the shift and say you know if I don't want that what do I want how would I like this to turn out what would I like the outcome to be what would I like to happen you know shift your focus onto what you do want okay and that shift can happen in a second okay so those are two powerful emotions that we need to be really really aware of worry and fear and also I want to talk to you about lack okay so when we feel that we have a lack of something in our life whether it's a lack of good health a lack of um, that special relationship a lack of money whatever you are feeling lack around that is what you're focusing on so you want to be shifting 
towards a feeling of abundance okay and abundance isn't just about money abundance is an abundance of love in your life an abundance of friends abundance of um, clients if you're in business and an abundance of good health a, an abundance of um, wonderful opportunities coming into your life think abundance and some people will say to me but Wendy I don't have any money and you know how can I feel abundant if I don't have any money well then shift the focus from uh, from money and think about what you have in your life that you can feel abundant about I just think oh I love that I you know I've got so many wonderful friends that uh, you know I've got an abundance of friends and they make me feel so happy and loved I've got a wonderful family who make me feel so happy and loved this is abundance okay and keep your focus on that feeling of I've got so many wonderful things in my life so much is going well for me and then start to say you know I really want more money I really want to attract opportunities so that I get more money so all of these little shifts make a big difference so those are the three things that I want you to focus on over the coming days and weeks and months spot when you are feeling afraid spot when you are worrying about things and spot when you are coming from a place of lack and make that shift to what you do want okay i really hope that explanation has helped and this is just a starting point leave your comments below and i will check in every few days and i will answer your comments um because if you let me know what's going on in your life i can sort of give you a clearer explanation okay so get the conversation started if you like this video and you want to see more of my videos i make weekly LOA tip videos on a Monday. I make my um, my feel good Friday videos obviously on a Friday. And you know, there's more in between some weeks as well. So subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And as I say, start a conversation with me and I will get back to you. Have a great week and um, I hope to hear from you soon. Bye.